everyone, and thanks for joining me in this training video. Live video is the king of social media, especially Facebook. Live video has top priority and will show on your friends' news feeds before anything else. Facebook is practically begging people to do live video. So if you really want to connect with the most people possible, live video is the way to go. Now I know it can be intimidating. No one likes to be in front of the camera. Do you think I want to be here right now? Especially when it's live and people are watching. But if you follow three simple tips and the outline in this video, you'll be able to minimize the stress and have a successful live broadcast. So let's get started. Tip one, select your location carefully. The location where you film your video will say a lot to your viewers, so make sure it's done in a place that is clean and professional. Make sure you have a good internet connection and good lighting. Now that doesn't mean you need to go buy lights. You could use a window or just make sure that they can see you. And finally, make sure they can hear you as well. Most smartphones have a pretty good microphone built in, but if you're in a location with a lot of background noise, you might consider getting an inexpensive lapel mic to improve your audio. Tip number two, front load your videos. Put the most important content at the beginning. Most people will not be watching your video live. They will watch the recording. So don't waste time at the beginning saying hi to friends or waiting for more people to join. Just get straight to the point. Tip number three, plan your video. Not planning is a huge mistake that people make all the time. They feel since it's live, they can just say whatever they want. Bad idea. Always plan your video. It will come across more natural and more professional. The best way to plan a video is to come up with two or three things that you want to discuss or share. Something like three ways to clean your house with essential oils or two tips for brighter looking skin. People have short attention spans, so two to three talking points is perfect. So with those tips in mind, here's an outline for you to follow. Start with an attention grabber. Say something like, hey guys, I have exciting news or I'm gonna show you something I've never shared before. Or ask a question that gets people thinking like, did you know you can use essential oil to replace seven different products in your home? Next, tell them what you're gonna talk about. Two to three tips or three ways to do such and such. Then interact for a few seconds with those who are online so that they know that you're really live. But don't get carried away, keep it short. Then deliver your content. Give them that valuable content that you created. Then ask people to comment with questions about that content. And tell those who are watching the recording that you'll come back later to read their comments and answer their questions. Then share a personal story that relates to the content that you shared. This helps you connect with your audience. Finally, hang out and have fun with your viewers. Answer questions and build relationships. That's what social media is all about. This is important but please make sure you do it here at the end and not at the beginning of your video. In fact, feel free to hang out and chat as long as you want after your presentation. Facebook actually loves longer videos, so don't feel like you have to stop the video after your presentation. If you can follow that simple outline and apply those three tips, you will have a successful live broadcast. Now it's gonna take time and practice. Your first video will probably stink and that's okay because everyone's first video stinks. Just keep going and you'll get more comfortable in front of the camera and your videos will improve. So thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at marindauniversity at marinda.com.